And for a long time, pastoralists, especially in Kajiado, have kept their cattle primarily for meat. But now, many are abandoning this trend by turning to dairy farming, owing to its lucrative returns. On Smart Farm this week, Dennis Atieno met one such farmer who is not only keeping his cows for milk, but has devised an ingenuous way of maximizing his cattle feed. Take a look. <laughs> Deep at the heart of Anchor City Village in Isinya, Kajado County, Daniel Lepate and his wife Mary take pride in their major source of livelihood, cattle. But they don't keep them for meat. For them, it is the milk that sells. Which I started in uh, 2016, August, because I saw there is some opportunity in this area because uh, the area is dry. So there is a uh, somehow a shortage of milk. Thanks to a couple of seminars in different agricultural shows in Nairobi, the couple learned the basics needed to run a dairy farm. But it wasn't easy starting off. When we bought the first four cows, one was almost giving, uh, was giving birth. So we never knew that when you carry a cow in the back of the lorry, which is almost two, three days to calving, it's going to be injured. So, so I lost that one. And I, which I bought it at 140,000. That unfortunate experience did little to dampen their spirit. Today, they have a total of 31 cows on this half an acre farm. The cows are about 10, the, the big cows are about uh, 21. But now we are milking about uh, six of them. And now that he no longer treks looking for pasture, how does he manage to feed all his cows? He uses hay. Unlike other farmers, the couple mills the dried grass first as opposed to feeding it directly to the cows. Before the machine, I got a lot of uh, waste. When you feed cows with uh, just direct hay, you can get a lot of waste. I never knew that by feeding them the whole day will minimize the time they, they rest, so production of milk will go down. It's a simple diesel run machine operated by one person. Turning the hay into this fine mixture takes about one and a half hours. The move has enabled Daniel and his wife reduce on the amount of feeds as they now use just 10 bales to feed the animals per day from 20 bales initially. But when I, ha I had the machine, it only took me two hours to feed the animals from eight to 10. But it's not just hay. The couple also uses legumes and other crop byproducts such as sunflower as feeds for the cows. For a dairy cow, we have to look at uh, two or three things. One is the body score. Because uh, is, there is no way you can find a cow that is uh, emaciated giving you the right meal. By doing the body score, you have to give them enough food for their energy. You have to feed them at least a bit of protein to boost their milk. The other thing that is very key is salt. Give a cow 30 grams twice, so that is 60 grams. For all the hard work, the couple gets roughly 160 liters of milk daily from the six cows they are milking. The highest producer here giving 31 liters of milk per day. He sells a liter of milk at an average of 65 shillings. Their only challenge lies in marketing. With Kitengela having no cooperative society for dairy farmers, the couple has to put in extra effort to sell their produce. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.